Hey, I'm Richard Kavanagh, and today I want to share with you a recipe from my new book, Love Your Hair. It's a simple, relaxed look called the Bohemian Wave, and basically it's that sexy, beachy hair that every girl wants. It's really simple. You're going to start with three tools, a Mason Pearson brush, a medium-sized curling iron, and a heat-active texturizer. In this case, we're going to use Redken Wool Shake. This is so simple, and it's a, a great way for you to get used to working with a curling iron. What you're gonna do is this. You're gonna take your index finger. If you're right-handed, it's quite good to start on the right-hand side of your head. You're gonna take your index finger and stick it on your hairline about midway between your ear and your parting, and you're simply going to use your finger to gather up a section of hair just like that. Take your heat-active texturizer. Give the hair a little mist with the product so that it's lightly damp. Take your curling iron, and if you're right-handed, you're going to hold the iron in your left hand. You're going to come up and over your head and have the barrel of the iron pointing straight down. And you're going to wind your hair around the iron, allowing it to twist as it wraps around the iron and leave an inch or two of the ends straight. That helps to elongate the shape and give it a bit more of a, a boho feel. You want to start the curl a couple of inches away from the scalp because you don't want too much volume with this look. You just want a soft cascading wave. And hold it for, I don't know, seven or eight seconds depending on how thick your hair is. If your hair is really thick and coarse you'll need to hold the iron in the hair for longer to get the heat to penetrate through and if your hair is fine or sensitized or fragile you'll leave it in the hair for a lot less time because you'll get a crisper result and then you simply relax that and let the hair come off. What you're going to end up with is an S-shaped undulating wave. You don't want to have a ringlet or a spiral wave. So let me show you that one again. In this case, you're going to start at the temple for the second section. Using your index finger, you're just going to hold a piece of hair out like that. Loose, random sections. Mist the hair with your heat active texturizer. Holding the iron in your left hand, you're going to come up and over your head so the barrel of the iron is pointing straight down. The thing about this is, if, you, if your hand's over here like this, it's very hard to get the iron to burn your face, unless you're super flexible. So it's just a sort of a safety thing, and it makes the whole coordination of the technique that much easier. Now here's a hot tip. This first part of the curl, where it wraps around the iron for the very first time, you want to keep that as narrow as possible. That helps the shape to sit in a more S-shaped wave, rather than bunching up from the head and becoming a ringlet and giving you a lot of volume or a bump in the hair. So I'm going to go around and do about 10 or 12 sections around the head and when I get around to the other side I'm going to show you how easy it is to do yourself because I'm going to get Sean to do it herself. So how many times have you ever said look that's all good and well for you to do but I can never do the back of my hair. Have you ever had that experience? So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do the back of your hair. You right Sean? Yeah. Okay cool you're right handed right? Mm -hmm. Okay so I'm going to give you the iron to hold in your right hand. Yeah. Now I'll guide you through this so you don't mm -hmm. hurt yourself okay. Now you're going to take this little piece of hair here, hold it in your left hand, you got that? I'm going to spray yeah. it with the product for you because you only have two hands. Right, now what you're going to do is you're going to come up and over your head with your right hand. You're going to hold the iron there and then you're going to wrap that hair around the iron. Wrap, 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 wrap and hold. And you're just going to hold that there for roughly six or seven seconds. Now you're just going to relax the tension and let that fall off the iron, just like that. Right. So you just did the back of your hair. Yeah. Was that easy? Yeah. It's super easy, right? So if you can do the back of your hair, you can very easily do the front of your hair. Now I want to share with you one more hot tip that just relates to the way that the curls frame your face. Think about, before you start doing your hair, whether you like your hair to fall forward over your face and then away from your temples. That'll make your cheekbones pop and make your face look a little bit wider. Or do you like your hair to sweep back off the parting and then curve back onto the cheekbones. What that'll do is it'll make your face look a little bit narrower and longer. So great if you, if you haven't got a really high forehead. If you want your hair to fall forward and then start kicking away like that, you're going to wind the hair back away from your face like so. Right? If you want the hair to kick back and then wave forward here, you're going to wind the hair over and towards your face, like so. 
So it really is that simple, right? Remember the key points are when you're working on the right hand side of your head, hold the iron in your left hand and come up and over your head and wind the hair with your right hand, barrel pointing downwards. On the left hand side, swap hands, hold the iron in your right hand, go up and over your head and keep the barrel pointing down. One of the biggest mistakes that girls make when they're working with a curling iron is they try and hold the barrel straight up and wrap their hair around it and they find that they get themselves tangled up. So if you do that, just simply turn the iron up the other way and it'll be as good as new. A light hold heat active texturizer sprayed on section by section, a little bit of heat, five or six seconds. You're gonna take your Mason and Pearson brush and start brushing the hair out on the side that you started curling first because that will have cooled down by the time you get around to this side. Take your brush, and very, very vigorously brush all your hair through in one motion like that. You can brush it and brush it and brush it as much as you like. If you've got a great curl in there, the more you brush it, the better it's gonna form a wave, okay? So I'm gonna go through and brush all of Sean's hair for you, and then I'm gonna show you one more hot tip for getting that beautiful flyaway, dusty, romantic texture. So when you've finished brushing your hair out and it's looking really good, there's two little things that you can do just to up the magic. Uh, you can use a hair powder and a dry shampoo just to, to create that really incredible kind of romantic texture, you know, those little flyaways and loose light bits. Dry shampoo helps to knock any shine off and just spray it on. and the hair powder helps to create this romantic floaty flyaway feel. It'll also help give you a little bit of extra volume if your hair's really shiny. Sprinkle it on. And tap it in. And there you go, romantic bohemian waves.